cousin. Your first cousin? Yes, and I was a little girl when he was picketing college wall when black children were not permitted to come here. Yeah. Yes. How old were you? Um, three or four. Three or four. Yes. That's the influence of Mr. Mel Dorn, freedom fighter, Philadelphia freedom fighter. That's awesome. Yes, indeed. We welcome everybody to join in. Around and around. Around and around to Freedom Line. Look at what us to say. Freedom Bush. Georgia Bush. Oh, everybody out there. Got to keep everybody save our children from uh, racism and dry college. We pick it seven months and 17 days, non-stop, longest picking line we ever had in our African American community. And we won the battle. We had victory. Victory is ours. Seven months and 17 days. Thank God was with us all the way because we had all the, that's what we had to work with. The of the Lord knowing that we were doing the right thing. And the determination not to fail. And never knowing it. From a year from my own people that they was always saying, the way you can break that man's will. That white man's will. That divine college man's will. You can't break that. Yeah. And his mouth just give up. Well, we took it and they said, and threw him out the window. And we broke the man's will. And we've been breaking wills ever since. Thank God we didn't win any war. Lose a few battles here and there, but you, you get some wins in war, you lose a few battles, you lose, it don't really matter. When you have willpower. You have willpower, that's you have what, I win the war, then we win the next one, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Just thankful for that we were alive to be able to wake up at a time that we did to make a decision to fight that. Yeah. Right back to the fight back. Ready that? Yeah. 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 Where is that man? Not laying back. I know that's right. I know that's right. Well, it's an honor. It's an honor. <laughs>